Warning, spoilers ahead for House of the Dragon Episode 1 Egan's dreaming of the White Walkers, just like the ones in Game of Thrones did he know about them in the books, or is House of the Dragon rewriting history? House of the Dragon marks HBO's very first Game of Thrones spin-off, and the premiere makes no attempt to hide its prestigious past. Set around 200 years earlier, House of the Dragon finds House Targaryen at the height of its power, ruling over Westeros with its fleet of dragons. Patty Considine plays King Viserys I Targaryen the fifth ruler since Egan the Conqueror first sailed from Dragonstone and brought six of the seven kingdoms, Dorne proved a little tricky, under his control. In House of the Dragon Episode 1, Viserys names daughter Rhaenyra as his rightful heir, and this position comes with the special privilege of knowing a secret all Targaryen rulers must bear. Viserys reveals their ancestor, Egan the Conqueror, had a disturbing dream of a terrible winter coming from the north to destroy the world of the living. Calling this dream the Song of Ice and Fire, a nod to George R. R. Martin's book series, Egan is predicting the White Walker invasion from Game of Thrones, and the true goal behind his conquest of Westeros was apparently bringing the land together for a unified defense against the dead. Related, House of the Dragon, every Game of Thrones Easter egg in Episode 1 Egan Targaryen foreseeing Westeros' White Walker problem is not a detail House of the Dragon draws from George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire novels. Egan's takeover was originally motivated by more selfish, conquer why ambitions, and by adding this prophecy, House of the Dragon is perhaps attempting to soften the Targaryen cause. The closest George R. R. Martin comes to Egan's dream is the prince that was promised a religious prophecy claiming the reincarnation of Azara High, implicitly a Targaryen, would arise when the long night comes again from the north. According to said prophecy, the prince that was promised would have a song of ice and fire, which many readers interpret as an allusion to Jon Snow, woes both Stark and Targaryen, though this remains unconfirmed in the books. House of the Dragons Egan reveal will probably be in GRRM's books George R. R. Martin is infamously not rushing to complete A Song of Ice and Fire. The Winds of Winter feels no closer than it did a decade ago, and then A Dream of Spring, that's probably Spring 2040, at the current rate, will conclude GRRM's fantasy series. By the end of last entry, A Dance with Dragons, Deaneries hadn't even set sail for Westeros, and the battle against the others, White Walkers is a term exclusive to TV, remained a distant threat. George R. R. Martin co-created House of the Dragon, and showrunner Ryan J. Condal has confirmed the Egan plot point was the author's brainchild, even claiming at some point that Egan's dream will come out. When Daenerys Targaryen finally sets sail and lands upon Dragonstone in A Song of Ice and Fire, therefore, she may discover a record of her ancient ancestor's dream. Daenerys learning about Egan's vision would avoid the tedious Jon Snow back and forth that clogged up Game of Thrones later seasons. The long-suffering bastard tried his damnedest to convince everyone ice zombies were actually quite a big problem, but Daenerys and Cersei were more interested in waging war against each other. That wouldn't necessarily be the case if Daenerys was motivated by the words of her own ancestor. By the same reasoning, including Egan's prophecy in the books, would sidestep Game of Thrones Season 8's problem of relegating the White Walkers to secondary villains, since his backstory implies Daenerys must seize control of Westeros first, then fight the White Walkers. The Winds of Winter and A Dream of Spring could tie Egan's dream into the book's prince that was promised prophecy, since these two forecasts share a few suspicious commonalities. Perhaps Egan saw himself as Azara High, or maybe he glimpsed the same vision of ice and fire that inspired the prince that was promised rumor in the first place, but interpreted the images in typically Targaryen fashion. Either way, House of the Dragon's shocking Egan revelation would make a lot of sense in George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire books. House of the Dragon continues Sunday on HBO.